big news. Major League Baseball is back. Baseball <laughs> is back. Book it. April 7th, opening day. Oh. How good does that sound? Yes. It's time to play ball. Here we go. Feels like the first day of school. Most of the time, you know, in spring training, you know exactly what day it is. You got it circled on the calendar, and this year was a little bit different, but the first day is, it's always exciting. I always, for some reason, don't really sleep well on the first day because I wake up every hour hoping that the alarm will go off, ready to go. Personal goals for the season, I, I, I would say it's not so much based on numbers for me right now. It's more based off of what can I control. If I can control a few things every single day, what I do in my warm-up, in uh, when I do when I get into the box, what I do behind the plate, in my preparation. If I do all those things, I believe that I'm going to be in the best position to succeed. So, those are the things I'm going to really focus on this year. The last game in the season, I think everybody kind of just shut off a little bit. We were, you know, it was a rough one for us. Um, but you know, I think this year, just being around the guys already, I think there's a good, good energy, uh, a good vibe. The, the guys seem in good spirits. So I don't think, I don't think there's any residual effects from last year. I think we've we've turned that page. We've learned from it, and there's always something to learn from a season like that. So I think guys are coming in hungry, ready to go, and I think we're in a really, really good spot. Time to work. Just make sure that we hit the ground running, start getting after it and doing our job starting today. It's super exciting for us to be back on a baseball field, back where we all belong. We know that things are abbreviated, we know that things are going to be ramped up, but we prepared for this. Wearing a mic? Yeah. You didn't tell me? Dang it. Oh, surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Walk looks huge. I, mean, I know. He looks like uh, John Cena. John Cena. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. That was a loud and fun stretch. I wish my arm used to feel this way when I used to be a pitcher. It would have been like, woof, so nice, but nope. We got all new guys. Nice. It's good. Get to know new people. Make more friends. I like to make friends. See? Lock thing over there, bro. This guy got a laser, man. Woo! Catch your arm. Oh, that's why that thing goes straight, like. No, well, mine's the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> picture, I'm picture, yeah. <laughs> yeah, two shoulder surgery. That's why I quit pitching. Plus, it's more fun when you hit a homer than give up a homer. Like, bang, oh man. So that's that's a reason too. Oh my god! You know, you don't want to start doing this thing because I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a time that we're gonna talk about base running, and that's why we take advantage. All those outfielders that are trying to like look good, trying to take an extra base. So we 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 don't we don't do that. We're gonna attack the ball, hit the cutoff, and that's it. That's what that's the best part. So if you keep doing that consistently, you're gonna create a good habit. It doesn't matter if you have plus armor now, but coaches, the coach at third base is gonna be like, this guy attack the ball all the time. So I have to make a tough decision to send this guy or no. And now you know what? I'm gonna stop it. Okay, first day. Be good. Okay, be good. No pressure. Be good. Ooh, need something this year like that. Ah. Separation, rotate. Okay. 
told him, hey, give me a break. He was like, no, you got to get the mic. I'm like, all right, I'll be the funny guy. It's a lot. You love the mic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Nikki. Sexy. Wow, Nikki. Wow. Okay, I think I'm in a good spot right now. I just have to keep like working on the timing. You got to tell people when you have no. the mic. Because I want to get the best out of you. Oh, yeah? Exactly. Yeah. I'm the freight train, bro. Ooh. Oh, let's see. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yes. The way guys' bodies are working, the way arms are working, and the way balls are coming off of bats and BP, that these guys have been doing a really nice job of getting after it and taking care of their business during the offseason. You can just tell by looking at Bum when you say hello to him if, um, if, if he's done his work and he's ready to roll. And, and that's, what, that's what my interaction told me today. So when he came out through that bullpen, I felt very good about him. Feels good. It's a lot of familiar faces. Um, it's just we're a, lot, a little bit older, a little more gray for me. It feels like yesterday I was here. Um, this organization has been treating my family really well. I'm happy to set up for for Mark, who I saw do it for so long. Played with him, got drafted with him. Um, being able to pitch before him and just hand it over to him is great. He's such a professional. He works hard. He's he's a great leader in the clubhouse too. We know what the landscape is. We know what players are going to be here. And with who we have, we got to drill these guys into making everything happen at a, at a more routine level. Defensive posture, uh, angles to the baseball, those are things you might take for granted in the past couple of years because we've done it at a high level. But we need, we need to break that down to, to the smallest fielding fundamental. And we're doing a good job of that. The off season's great. You know, we enjoy our time off, time with the family, uh, but it was definitely getting to the point where it's time to get back to business, time to get back with the boys and, you know, play some baseball. In my mind, I've been pretty consistent. Um, I think there's definitely some room for improvement, kind of sharpen some things up, uh, tighten some things up here and there, um, but just kind of continue on what I've been doing and just try to keep winning ball games. I'd like to think I'm more of the kind of lead by example type guy, just kind of get in, do my business and, and try to be as professional as I can and hopefully that rubs off on you know kind of whoever is watching. I think we're ready to go man honestly I think we're going to do whatever we can to make sure that last year doesn't happen again. This year I think we come out with a little hunger. Uh, I think it's a good thing because I think as an organization I'm guessing the outside world doesn't really have too much expectations for us uh, which I personally think is a good place to be. If you don't have that many expectations you know there's not as much pressure with a bunch of young guys I think that will help them be a lot more comfortable and help the team in general just kind of play a little bit more loose than we did last year.